two, three. Oh my god, I saw blood just fountain. A bloody fountain. That was beautiful. No thanks, though. You're back. Thanks, man. That was a 220. That was a Yeah, you said a little bit Yeah, they're just hanging out right there. Uh, we're capping right now, but I'm no, certain two that those are still in Ready to fire. Once this, once this is pushed in. Yeah, so you're good to fire. Uh, so you get loaded and ready. All right, Prime. Stand clear. Stand clear. Are you ready to go? We're capping. So. That's still in the right here. So. We shooting or not? Yeah, go and fire. Nice, nice. Yeah, yeah. I think they went to play. Yeah, I only, I only see like, some, like Rambo type of group up there. It's not, I mean, there's more than that, but what I can see just looks like five, three, something like that. They're just over there. There's a tree there I'm going to try to hit. I don't know if I'm Yeah. Gonna... But they're just over the fence, you say? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to yeah, shoot they're on the 225 again. They're just over the hill in the stone wall, which is kind of where you've been hitting. Uh, pile whenever you have your shot. Go take okay, it. get a case and can yeah, get a case. And hot, and hot, and hot. Hopefully, hits that tree. We'll see. Uh, thing. Yeah, hit the tree, dead center, and pull uh, up. He's back. He's back. Can you get a case? Can you get a case? Back where you're in for. position that more or less you can turn a little more right. Try to get a case next round. Aim a little further in a little shorter kind of deal. Yeah, a bit more than higher. Like yeah. Like yeah. I don't see any, I see one guy right now. It's a, uh, an NCO behind the tree up there on the one you've been shooting at uh, pile. You want me to prime it? 
Yeah, go and grab them. They're still up there. I just can't. Oh, okay. I can see their heads. They're there. I, I'm just can't tell you how they're just between those two trees. Oh, my God. Those people will fire. 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 Angle it a bit more to the point. Uh, yes. So now it's like uh, I'll do it. I'll aim it for 250 again. 220 again. I'm sure it's 220. We're going base off. Now you're good. Might need to. Uh, let me see. Now they're still holding there. Uh, uh, 220, 225. Uh, okay, um, the yeah, they are. That's all them on the left. Oh right in front of us. God. Yeah, that's real close. Like, so, depending on your angle. Two twenty-three. All right, buddy, go and send one yeah, ready. I'm just gonna... All right, I'm fine on the left. Out of the way. The trees, in. Nice. Turning. That was beautiful. Um, red. Philip Pry had built his farm with the help of his brother Samuel from the ground up in 1844. But 20 quiet years meant little to the army that needed to bend the land to their needs. With his commanding view over much of the prospective battlefield to the west, General McClellan and his staff were quick to make use of the western overlook and even the attic roof access hatch to survey the battlefield and divvy out orders. The house and barn were also convenient field hospital and headquarters of Major Letterman the medical director for the Army of the Potomac. His revamping of the entire medical corps, which he had conceived the month prior, would be put to the test with the immense amount of wounded that would result from the battle. More yet were sure to come as Union forces headed next into the West Woods, a disjointed polygon of woodland that divided the old Mary Grove Locker land tract and the Mama and Miller Farms. The Union Second Corps under General Edwin Sumner had crossed over Antietam Creek and joined the fray. But as they marched toward the burning Mama Farm, Sedgwick's Second Division suddenly became isolated when General French became confused on which direction to go and mistakenly took his division south, leaving Sedgwick vulnerable and alone as the trees enveloped his men, many to never return. <laughs> 